We are going to demonstrate the difference between weathering and erosion. Now remember, weathering is a process that breaks down material, whereas erosion is a process that moves that material from one place to another. So today we're going to need some chalk powder, two plates, water, and vinegar. It's very important, don't mix those two up water and vinegar. You can smell, you can tell the difference by the way it smells. So, what I need you to do first is you're going to take your chalk and you're going to make two piles. On your plate. Now, what I want you to do is take your water, make sure it's your water, and I want you to pour it on your chalk pile. Now take a, a close look at what happens to that chalk powder. So it looks kind of milky, but if you give it time, that milkiness, it'll settle out because the particles are still there. You can see the larger particles have already started to settle out. So this shows us erosion. Now, you're going to take your other jar that's full of vinegar, and you're going to pour that on top of your pile. Now what happened to that pile? Mine got fizzy. It bubbled up. And then, when the bubbles clear away, there should be a dramatic reduction in the amount of chalk powder on my plate. Let's just give it a little bit. And you should be able to tell already that there is less chalk than there was before. So that tells us that the vinegar broke down the chalk. It is no longer there. Whereas the water didn't break down the chalk. It just moved it. So this is an example of chemical weathering specifically, but a type of weathering. And this is our erosion.